Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Susan Brown at Alkaline for Life and the Center for Better Bones, and I'm today here with Gina Gali, our health coach at Alkaline for Life. We want to talk to you about our plans for 2023. It's a good time that we all start thinking about what we want to feel like, what we want to look like, how we want to be in 2023. Here at Alkaline for Life, we have lots of plans for 2023, and we want to stay very healthy. And so Gina and I thought we'd share with you some of the ways we maintain our health. Of course, we try to get adequate rest, we exercise, we try to stay in a positive mind attitude, but we also use our products, our Alkaline for Life products, and I thought it would be fun to go through them one by one and show you the benefits we see from the products. So welcome, Gina. Thank you. Let's start with the number one, the most popular product we have, which is for the Alkaline C. Now, you've probably heard me talk about the fact that alkalinity C is a very unique form of vitamin C. It's fully rebuffered, fully reduced ascorbate, which means it's the type of vitamin C that the body actually uses to perform its many chemical actions. And it is actually packed under nitrogen, so it's very potent over the long haul. I personally say that if I was sent to a desert island and only had one nutrient to take with me, I would take this ascorbate. And that's because for over 25 years, I have used this very product to maintain and build my bone health. Some of you have heard my story before when I was young, I didn't have such great health. I had chronic fatigue, I had allergies, I had headaches all the time, sinus all the while, and I rebuilt my health. I rebuilt my health in many different ways, but a key component are these nutrients that we came to develop in Alkaline for Life. And this is the Alkalinity C. I personally take several teaspoons a day, maybe three or four, when I'm in generally good health. If I have any kind of health challenge, like I get a headache because I've eaten a food that reacts with me, or I get a digestive distress that caused me a headache, I do much more Alkalinity C on a particular day. And you always know when you have too much because you just get too much loose stool. It's my favorite nutrient. I owe a lot of my health to this nutrient. And remember, it's the number one electron donor. Your body runs on electricity. It runs on electrons. Many of these, we get electrons from the food we eat and from this ascorbate donates electrons to the system to help us maintain health. So Gina, do you like the uh, alkalini suit? I love the Alkalini C, actually. Okay. I do take it every day. Mm -hmm. um, so I have my water bottle, and I always put some in my water bottle. Okay. You got to drink water, okay. right? And you got to drink, you got to take your vitamin C. So right. I put them together, and that's like my daily And routine. how much do you put in the bottle? I have about 30 ounces or so in the, mm. in the bottle, and I'll put in a um, tablespoon or so, I'm sorry, a teaspoon of uh, vitamin C and mix it up. And I might drink a couple of these a day. Okay. Uh, when I'm working out, I like to, I feel like it gives me energy. Okay, okay. Um, so don't need those energy drinks, just give some vitamin C in my water. And uh, then afterwards for recovery, I feel like it's very- So in the you know, day altogether, how many teaspoons might you take? I take about on a daily basis, um, about three to five teaspoons. That's right. what my body requires. Um, so, but I would say about three teaspoons, but I drink a lot of water. I, I probably drink about six to four ounces of water a day. Yeah, yeah, and that's perfect way to deliver the ascorbate. You put it into a bottle, as long as it's sealed tightly and, and it's dark color, the light can't get in, then that's a very excellent way to deliver it. You know, it's interesting because how I deliver the vitamin C is I take my, my glass of water and I just take a teaspoon, put it right in it and drink it right away. I just happen to like to drink it like that really fresh. Always let it defizz because you know it might annoy your stomach. But you can you can also put it in a bottle, take it all day long. Very good idea because we use up ascorbate quickly. Some yeah. some people have a long half life. I have a very short half life, and part of that's due to the amount of inflammation, the amount of oxidative damage. Many different circumstances cause vitamin C to have a shorter half life in some people mm -hmm. than others. Okay, excellent. We both love ascorbate. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and it's without uh, a doubt every day. Need it. Yeah, every day. It's a great, and many people also report that other things like it's a great way to correct constipation. Mm, Actually, yeah. if you happen to suffer from constipation, this is a a, a wholesome way, a health supporting way, because it, just as a just as the vitamin C adds energy to every other tissue, 
it adds energy to the bowel. So you activate the bowel, and especially if you're drinking plenty of water, take the ascorbate, that's a great way to correct constipation. Now, another interesting thing about the ascorbate, doesn't it pull out toxins from the body? Well, that's right, and as a matter of fact, uh, you need about two grams of this ascorbate, which is like a teaspoon and a half or so, just to, just to help chaperone out of the body the heavy metals that we get from food, water, and the air. In other words, that's not the heavy metals that are stored in the bones, and we can talk about that sometime. The body has an amazing way of storing toxins in the bone. Um, but this helps you to chaperone out of the body these toxins by mm -hmm. helping you produce metallothionines, which is a, a natural compound that helps us get rid of heavy metals. That's a really great point. And so important today because we're swimming in a sea of chemicals. And that's one reason we need such higher levels of antioxidants. Right. And unfortunately, the food we have, we cannot guarantee we're getting the antioxidant from there. Like one single orange can have 20 milligrams of vitamin C or it can have 100. There's no way to know. It depends on the ground where it was grown. We always like at least three, 4,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day in the ascorbate form. Nice, very nice. We so. like, love alkalinity C. The second product let's talk about, Gina, is, is this Relieve and Repair. Relieve and Repair is a really unique formula because it's a quercetin, but a very specific form of quercetin, which is quercetin dehydrate from the Sephora hoponica plant, a very a sacred plant in many countries. And that is combined with another great antioxidant, OPC, which is from grapeseed pip, the kind of, you might've heard of that, and also pomegranate, which has been, which is a food antioxidant renowned since the Bible, pomegranate, pomegranate has been renowned for centuries as a very important healing health recovery agent. This was all combined together in this relieve and repair formula. And what's important to remember is that wherever there's pain, there's inflammation. And where there's inflammation, there's repair gone wrong. And so my goal for my own personal health really is to stimulate repair in the body. That's why I use a lot of scorbate as an electron donor, energize the body. I use a lot of quercetin as a very effective anti-inflammatory antioxidant. And how I take it is I just take a quercetin. Here, Gina, you hold that one. Okay. I just take a little quercetin uh, capsule, a little, actually a pill, what we call a tabsule, and I just drop it in the water. And that will dissolve very quickly. I kind of like to do it like that. And then I just drink my vitamin C water with the quercetin in it. I drink it within, you know, a few minutes of, of making it. And uh, it's a great way. It leaves a little sediment, but I like to deliver it that way. The benefits I see from quercetin, of course, it really helps with allergy. And if I get a reaction to a certain foods or I get a chemical sensitivity. Uh, the other day I, was, I had to go to lecture someplace where they had a very big odor in the room. That really helps to to deal with chemical sensitivities right away, any kind of congestion. But what, what really was noticeable is I do strength training and the trainers were always amazed that I never had any pain afterwards after doing the strength training. And I was thinking about it. why is it that I don't have pain, everyone else does. And it's because I have a constant intake of these repair nutrients, mainly of the ascorbate and the repair and relieve. So it's a great product. It's really a unique product. It's really a treasure, actually, to have this very pure form and potent form of quercetin dihydrate, the only safe and potent quercetin used with other very powerful antioxidants. Gina, do you like the Relieve and Repair? This is my number one yes. favorite, without a doubt. Number doubt. one. Number uh, one. Vitamin C number is my number one. one. Okay. I love the vitamin C. I do. Yeah. But I have to say, I okay. can't function or get out of bed without this because for years I personally suffered so much with arthritis. Arthritis, okay. Arthritis in my, you know, in my knee, in my uh, neck and shoulders, and just so much pain suffered and for, you know, just couldn't find relief. So um, I take at least two a day on a daily basis. And that um, helps with the arthritis, just definitely. regular Definitely, I don't have any pain, I don't have any stiffness or any achiness. Haven't had it for a long time since I started taking this. Plus, okay. I do also love the cocktail that you just made yeah. with the Relieve and Repair and the sinus. Uh, I suffer really 
very badly from uh, seasonal allergies ah, and mm -hmm. so much that it actually my teeth can hurt. I've heard of that. I've yeah, they get so, so congested. That, yeah. yeah. So I'll take sometimes like three at a time with a vitamin C and I call it my allergy cocktail. I don't take anything over the counter for allergies and again, my savior. And what I try to do, knowing, like, kind of get ahead of it. So uh -huh. knowing that, you know, seasons are changing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'll start to build it up before in my system with the vitamin C and the relief and repair. So I don't suffer like I used to. You know, that's a very good tip because I never think of, since I don't have those seasonal allergies, I don't think about it. Yeah. But you find it effective to take a big blast at once. You take three of them right at one time and that quickly solves that rather severe problem of even the teeth being painful. Yeah, absolutely. Because it takes, it's such an anti-inflammatory and it's the best natural antihistamine. And you, if, 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 if you'd studied, like Gina has probably read the material we've written on NSAIDs, I mean, they're yeah. very damaging to take anti-inflammatory uh, synthetic drugs over the long haul. I mean, they cause a lot of health problems over the long term. So it's really great that you found a system. Now, that's something I wouldn't have thought of using three at once, but that's, that's an interesting thing. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's personal. you got to yeah. try stuff out and see what works for you and make some adjustments. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, some people need more, some people need yeah, less. Yeah. So. And that's a great story. Arthritis, yeah. Yeah. that kind of allergy. And remember, wherever there's pain, there's inflammation, right? So we can keep it there in mind. Pain, inflammation. Where there's inflammation, there's repair gone wrong. The body is trying to repair itself. It's tearing down old tissues, trying to build new, new tissues. So we want to get all these repair agents and all these anti-inflammatory agents. Right. Great. Well, that's a great story. Yeah. And, you know, we share all this because we ourselves have benefited so much Absolutely. that it's a pleasure to share it with you. And let's move on to the next topic, which oh, is yeah. zinc. This is, we call it triple zinc because it has three different forms of zinc in it, plus a number of other cofactors. None of our products are simple products. They're all made with very elegant, careful formulation to work synergistically. So this is zinc in three different forms with slippery elm and echinacea and various herbal compounds that will help reduce the tendency not only to sore throat, but to, feed, to cold and virus as a whole. Zinc is a mineral that's essential for the human body. Uh, we're finding it essential for everything, particularly for sexual activity, sexual ability in men. It's so very striking, the many different roles. But we look at zinc, we're thinking about immunity. Largely, we're thinking about building the strength of the white blood cells to defend itself from all these viruses and influenzas that are coming around. Zinc is a very potent antiviral. Hmm. But zinc has to get into the cell. To right. be an antiviral, it must get into the cell, so it needs certain things to carry it into the cell. Well, as it turns out, that's it. Quercetin is what carries zinc into the cell, huh. and it's called a zincophore because it moves, it has the energy to move zinc into the cell. So when you, we use this, and I certainly use it, whenever I think I'm getting any kind of a cold or anything coming around, I use the, this zinc, and it's particularly great for sore throat. And for children, you can just dissolve it in water. The same thing, you can break it up, put it in water, or mix it up in their food or whatever. This is a formula that's very, very much formulated also for children. And you can dissolve this quercetin in you know, their applesauce or whatever. And you can do it for yourself if you want. A very excellent combination. We're thinking about the winter. We're thinking about the fact that this new year, 2023, we want to do a lot. We have a lot of goals, so we want to be in tip-top shape. We're going to have these on hand. I certainly use the zinc daily. Um, yeah, absolutely. And, yeah. We call it the zinc zap, right? To zap out anything that might be lurking about in your body. Oh, right, yeah. the QZ zap, which is quercetin and vitamin C. Ah, yeah. And we take uh, maybe Gina's idea that maybe you have to use a little bit more quercetin, and maybe you have to use a couple of the zinc zaps for sure when you feel... You're getting sick. Now, an interesting thing, Gina, is that, you know, I've studied Chinese medicine for a long time. Yeah. And these, these, these Chinese herbalists will tell you at the first sign of a cold, you take their medicines because what you do not want the virus to replicate. So the question is, how can we quiet down that virus right away? So you say, mm, I got like a little sniffles. I got like a little something. Then you be sure to take this stuff right away because you're going to keep the virus from replicating. Mm -hmm. It's only when the virus gets stronger than we are that we get the symptoms. And in fact, I was just chatting with Gina saying, I don't mean to 
threaten, I don't mean to tempt the gods, but uh, this last couple years with so much uh, illness going around, in my own house, I took care of several people that had this wicked flu illness that's going around, and I never got, I never got any bit sick of it. And I never got sick at all. And it, I totally believe, and many of my clients will say, I'm staying well. In fact, our clients as a whole do extremely well as far as these flus and viruses go. It's because we keep our immunity at a nice high level all the time. So yeah, how about you? Have you been getting sick? I haven't been sick at all, actually, in, in a few years. So knock on wood. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's been good. And I feel great. I feel really good and energized. So I've been... And, and Gina to... has a really funny story about, uh, about her partner, who oh, was yeah. like really, he had some immune compromise. He has some serious health problems. But she, over the years, she's got him to kind of integrate some of these products, and particularly the quercetin. How is that story going now? So, you know, he he sees me take on all my supplements, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like, oh, no, I'm not going to do all of that. But, you know, then he was complaining about his, his chronic back pain mm -hmm. and, you know, other stuff. And so I said, just come on, give it a try. Let's, let's try it out. Let's, you know, have an yeah, experiment. Yeah. And so he event started taking in and eventually he's like, you know, I'm not having that pain. I'm like, oh, so you think that <laughs> might be working for you? So, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And it's especially, it's extremely important if you're immune compromised or if you're concerned about, uh, if you're concerned about your vulnerability, then do something and activate your defense system, really, mm, is what yeah. we're talking about. I think of, you know, like sending in the army, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah. you're arming yourself and these are our, you know, our leaders, our captain and, you know. You know and I've had so many clients that the, the women, of course, are the ones that many a time, for, I see women for bone health, they start taking these and then their husbands are reluctant, but I've got several that just come to get the product for their husbands. My husband with his arthritis, he will not be out, be without the repair, and, the relief and repair sends them over to buy the stuff we it's so you can actually you can help others by sharing this these simple ideas of natural ways to defend yourself for the winter to reduce inflammation and to increase your your capacity for antioxidants it can't hurt can't hurt and yeah. it can only do good right, right. And now let's talk about testing. You know, it's one thing to know we should take a nutrient, to know the value of that nutrient, but it's another thing to know the exact level in our body of that particular nutrient. I'm delighted to say that in 2022, we at Alkaline for Life focused on how can we help people be able to measure the level of the, some essential nutrients right in their own home. And now we have two test kits that are really great for this. The first one is vitamin D. I'm sure all of you are aware that vitamin D is probably one of the simplest and most important things you can do to maximize your health, particularly as we're looking into the winter and this things of flus and virus, you really want to boost your immunity with vitamin D. And now we know the level you want. You want probably a 50 to 60 NG level, and you can test this at home. So this vitamin D test kit, we're happy to make it available. Take advantage of knowing your vitamin D level. If you're low and add more vitamin D, you can retest yourself to see till you get to that 50 to 60 NG level. 40 might be okay, but I like 50 to 60. Now the omega-3 fats are another, another fat-soluble nutrient, just like vitamin D, that is extremely important for anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immune boosting, and also very good for the memory, for the brain, for cognitive functioning. In fact, we interviewed Bill Harris, the number one researcher in the world on omega-3 fats, and his report research from all over the world is showing people with a higher level of omega-3 fats are healthier, their telomeres are longer, and they live about four years longer. Hmm. And so we're saying, hey, Let's now take advantage to know our omega-3 fat level and even our how much DHA we have compared to EPA. DHA, for example, is very important for cognitive functioning and the prevention of cognitive decline. So I'm right on board taking a lot of EPA, a lot of DHA, and of course we take that in our omega-3 formula. But the neat thing is that we can now test these different nutrients and so that is a great, great system and a great opportunity you'll take advantage of. 
So, Gina, have you tried any of these, the vitamin D self-test kit or the omega-3 fats? I've actually done both of these tests. Uh, tell us about it. So, at one point in my life, I had actually a very low vitamin D level okay. like in the 20s. So, wow, that's very low, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I kind of took it upon myself knowing what I know about vitamin D yeah. and it's how important it is. So I started to work on building up my vitamin D level and I want to keep an eye on it. So I, you know, I find that this home test is very convenient. Um, I don't have to like go to my doctor and ask them for a test. I can just do this. And so it's good like every, you know, we say we talk about the seasons, yeah. you know, at the end of the season testing to just make sure. That's I'm a very good idea level. at the end of the summer. Yeah, yeah exactly. so I find that really convenient. And you so know, your level was low. And how's your level doing now? Great. Yeah, what, I'm, what in is, a, I'm in the 60s. Yeah, that's what we like. Yeah. Perfect. So and it's been, you know, maintaining that. And it's great because I feel better. You know, and that's always a good measurement, but at least you can do a test and, you know, say, okay, yeah, I'm on track. I'm doing and okay. It's, and, and just you're commenting that you have not been suffering flus in that. It's very related yeah. to immunity. So the, so the vitamin D test you do every six months, I think it's a great idea. You maintain that optimum level. How about the omega-3 fats? So I never really thought much about omega-3 fats. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, you know, and you helped to educate me on that and the importance of them. I took them, but yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah, okay, I'll just take it because I hear it's good for, you know, a lot of great things of as building immunity and cognitive health, heart health, all of that. So I was like, oh, it'll be fun. Let me do this test and see what I'm at. And I actually found out I'm actually a pretty good level. And um, you were taking how much? I take a teaspoon mm -hmm. of yeah. the um, Mighty Omega liquid. I personally like the liquid because it's easy. It's easy right, right, to right. take. You know, we take a lot of supplements, so the liquid's easy. And Did you ever test before you started the supplements? No. I didn't, yeah. no. So that's a good idea. You know, you might say, well, why do, do I need omega-3 fats, really? Get the test, because there are a few people that have an adequate level. Like this scale, you want to be up towards a higher level. You want to be 7 or 8. I was 10, for example, because I use about 4,000 milligrams of EPA and DHA. And I actually use, yeah, I actually use at least that much or more. My level was 10. The people in Japan and other countries that have high fish intake, they have about a 9 or 10, and they do live four years longer. So if you don't think you need it, get yourself tested now before you start the supplement, and then add the supplement. Yeah. That's a good meds, and we're both happy to say we're at ideal levels. Yeah, absolutely. So... Uh, I, you know, started, I used to take other omegas and I started taking the, the Mighty Omega liquid. I personally like it because I, f I can just tell it's a good quality. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a point, too. I use, I personally like the liquid myself. It has almost the 3,000 milligrams of the EPA in DHA. That's what you want. You don't want other oils. You want EPA and DHA in one teaspoon. I take probably a teaspoon and a half or two teaspoons because I'm really interested in cognitive functioning. So I really want to keep that up high. But... Uh, the liquid is one way, and we don't, it doesn't taste very fishy to me. You no, you know, so a lot of people will say, a lot of the clients that we talk to are like, oh my gosh, you know, I don't like fish, or I don't like that fishy, you know, aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, you know, I keep mine in the refrigerator. It keeps a nice, it has a little bit of a lemony, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. essence to it. And <laughs> so I, I find it quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, I, I personally use a liquid, but we have capsules too. Now this is uh, the omega-3 fats from anchovy, just anchovy off the coast of Chile, very purified, very high quality. And the capsules are fine too. You have to, there are a thousand each, so it's really quite concentrated. And even if we were to take one, you've got to start to get the levels we have of omega-3 fats. Most people would have to take three a day um, or like a heaping teaspoon of this. Uh, you know, it's funny, when I was a kid, my father made us take Scott's emulsion. Now, this is probably going to date me, but Scott's emulsion was when they took that, those fish and just wrung the liver out and got this white liquid that tasted horrid, but it, it built our immunity and it provided us with some nutrients that were real important. So today we have much refined levels, very tasty levels. Get tested. Consider using the omega-3 fats. It can't hurt. can't hurt. Now I want to talk about alkalizing. You know, at Alkaline for Life, our main focus is on helping individuals alkalize the biochemistry. And we have people test the first morning urine. You can see just what your, what your acid load is by measuring the first morning urine. And I want to teach you about the nutrient that's most important for alkalizing, and that is magnesium. That's why we've gone through the trouble to develop this very elegant 
formula of three different forms of ionized magnesium. That means a form of magnesium that's ready to use by the body, that's already in the form that the body uses with three different forms of magnesium. If you don't absorb one, you're going to absorb the other. Each of those forms of magnesium is alkalizing. And the most important key to remember is that magnesium is the nutrient that affects the pH of the cell most. Most of all the nutrients we could supplement in pH is going to help you alkalize. So we encourage, and I certainly use, a considerable amount of magnesium every day. I personally might use a thousand milligrams of magnesium a day. So Gina, do you use the ionized magnesium? Tell us about I that. do actually. Okay. So I like to take mine in the evening. So I take evening, two okay. in the evening before bed. Right. And I like to take it in the evening for a couple reasons. Um, a, it definitely helps me get a nice restful sleep. Okay. And I used to suffer from, I used to wake up in the middle of the night with horrible leg cramps. Ah, that's so common, right, exactly. And, you know, so I no longer have that experience. And so, you know, I get better sleep also because I'm not being woken up in the middle of the night right, from leg cramps. Right, right. Um, and I definitely feel like it helps with just muscle, you know, muscle maintenance, muscle recovery, muscle maintenance. Magnesium relaxes the muscle, yeah. calcium contracts it, and that thing with leg cramps over and over again. You see a major sign of magnesium deficiency is those leg cramps at night. That's a very good idea. You know, and just, you know, in the morning to help with my elimination. So right. I feel like that's helped correct those issues that I had suffered from, yeah. you know, in my past when I was younger. So I love magnesium. I take um, yeah. two to three a day, personally, of the ionized magnesium on top of the other products that I take to help boost up uh, that level. Right, because alkalizing mineral has magnesium, so you maybe are getting seven, eight, nine hundred milligrams. Very good idea. Yeah. Very good idea. And to help really optimize the magnesium, uh -huh. and I feel like to really, you know, give that magnesium an extra boost of absorption, adding in this uh, essential choline. Ah, the essential choline. Yeah. Now, choline is really interesting because choline is the number one deficiency in this country, although most people haven't heard of choline. Ninety percent of people are deficient. Choline is an essential nutrient, essential for growth and development in little children, essential to the pregnant mother to have a child have really good brain development, and really essential as we get older to protect the brain. Choline, it's a great idea to get at least one teaspoon and perhaps uh, perhaps many one teaspoon at least, but many people use two if right. they find they get digestive distress from the magnesium because choline, this particular form of choline, not any form of choline, but this co form of choline will create what we call a neutral pore and allow you to get magnesium into the cell through a little different channel than is usually used by the body. So I, I'm not, we've done some videos on this, you can look those up, but a great combination if you want to get more of the magnesium into the cell, which is what's going to help you alkalize. Magnesium, ionized magnesium plus the choline citrate. So one of the things I say, you know, some people say like, you know, I have a hard time absorbing magnesium or whatever. Right. I, I'd say like well, some people, their cell doors close off to, yeah, yeah. to magnesium. <laughs> That's a good way, but yeah. And this helps knock on that door and open it up to help bring in the magnesium um, more effectively and efficiently to help to alkalize and to help really, like I, I like that word, optimize, like That's, really give you the best magnesium. Boost That's you a can. very good way to speak about it. Yeah. Thanks, Gina. So now let's talk about collagen. Half of the bone is made of collagen. Collagen is the most important, the most, one of the most common proteins in the whole body. We need healthy collagen for all of our health, certainly for our skin, for our nails, and for our bones. So two products that we've chosen to put in Alkaline for Life, one is this collagen regenerator, which is a form of silicon. Silicon is another essential mineral, and this form is stabilized in orthosilicetic acid, makes it very stable, useful to the body, and it's this collagen regenerator. A real simple thing, you take a few drops, maybe five drops a day, helps to build healthy collagen. Have you tried this, Gina? So, actually, a few years ago, I had knee surgery, right, and okay. I remember you saying, well, why don't you add in the 
collagen re uh, generator. And I said, okay, we'll try it out. So I started to put, you know, some drops in the morning and take it. And I noticed, you know, my, my knee after the huh. surgery was really stiff and I was very limited with flexibility. Within a few months, I started to notice actually, uh -huh. wow, I can move my knee and I, I don't have the pain and I feel stronger and more flexible. And you were patient enough to do it too, to be consistent. Yes. Yep, yep, okay, great. But then another fun benefit I noticed <laughs> was mm. my nails started to grow. Yes, that's My right. nails started to grow. I used to have very thin, brittle, dry nails, very, like they ripped and broke all the yeah, time yeah. and I could not grow nails yeah, yeah, forever. Yeah. And now I have really strong, beautiful nails. And I think that. And we maybe that. could attribute part of your beautiful skin to that because the research yeah. shows yeah. if you take, you know, five drops of this is really helps with bone, but a few more like 12 really helps with the skin. Um, so that's great that you do that. And another a similar product that's going to, that people, that we're going to think of in regard to Gina's comments is this collagen. Now, I like the collagen from a bone point of view because when we take collagen, it kind of encourages the body to make more collagen. And it has 10 grams of protein in it or nine grams, so it's really helpful. But many, many people say that their nails are really much better. Is, was that your experience too? Absolutely. So another thing, I love the collagen. I take it every day. I use it in a lot of different ways. Okay. Uh, so a couple of my fun uses for this. I do put it in my coffee in the morning with a little sprinkle of cinnamon. Uh, right in the coffee, okay. Right in the coffee and mix it up. Sometimes um, I even like, you know, if I want a little treat, I put it in some hot chocolate or some <laughs> cacao with yeah. some almond milk and yeah. mix it up. But my favorite thing to do is I like oatmeal in the morning, especially in the winter. Mm -hmm. And so I will put a tablespoon of that. Well, I'm cooking my oatmeal. It dissolves and mixes it up. So I struggle with getting enough protein, right, and right. this gives me a little protein boost to my um, to your oatmeal, oatmeal. Yeah. Yeah. and yeah. it tastes fine. It tastes fine. I can't even taste it. So yeah. well, there you go. And I bet you can think of creative ways to use collagen. Many, many people. I've had people come to the yoga class and come, Dr. Brown, Dr. Brown, see my nails. I've done so well. You will notice improvement in your hair, skin, and nails, and it's very effective for for bone building also. So yeah, hey, thanks for the story. Yeah. And now let's just talk about two key nutrients which are easy to use, but have a very small nutrients in size, but have a very big impact. Mm. The first one is MK7. For decades, I've been studying MK7. That's a form of vitamin K that's produced by bacteria, certain bacteria in the food. And it's very powerful at keeping calcium in the bone and keeping calcium out of the artery. Yeah. The only one known factor that can help prevent arterial calcification in nutrients is this MK7. So we, we recommend everyone takes it. We're taking a lot of calcium these days. We're taking a lot of vitamin D. We wanna keep that calcium in circulation in the bones, not in the arteries. So we like MK7, easy to use, one tablet a day. The other thing that, that I'm gonna mention is CoQ10. CoQ10 is another simple nutrient to use. The body produces CoQ10. It's a very effective antioxidant. And most particularly, it is known to give energy to the heart muscles. So it's very effective where there's any heart weakness or where we want to stimulate the energy, the production, the energy that goes to the heart. Two simple things, easy to use. I personally use them, and I suggest that everyone use them. Have you tried them, Gina? Well, I do take the vitamin K, the MK7, on a daily basis. Like you said, it's small. It's easy to take. It's not like, you know, you're going to feel anything from it, right. but you know that there are great benefits for it. Right, right. And, and the new it. research yeah. is showing that it actually helps to prevent arterial calcification. So, like I so say, you may not see the benefit, but the benefit is there. And the same thing with bone. It takes a long while, but the studies show it strengthens bone. Definitely, you know, and it's great, you know, tell your husbands about it because you want to keep your husband's heart strong and healthy, right? And in fact, it's probably, a, you know, it's just probably a good way to, to deal with the men is that they, <laughs> they're easy to use and they're little tiny ones in both the MK7 and the CoQ10, extremely important for heart health for men as well as women. So yeah, thanks, Gina. You're welcome. So let's look at energy another way. We need energy during the day. I'm going to show you, we're going to show you, Gina and I, some little tips we use to build energy in the day. And But of course, energy in the day is based on how well we rest at night. So 
We got a couple products here that really help with sleep. Tell, Gina, tell us about your favorite sleep product. Well, so I find that if I take the ionized magnesium, the ionized which, magnesium, which we spoke about before, yep. And I partner it with our rest well, which yeah. is the natural tryptophan. Right. I get a nice, good quality sleep. I don't feel groggy in the morning. I feel really clear and energized. And how many mag do you take? I take uh, two mag and two at, at bedtime. Okay. Right, and I'll take one rest well. Yes. About thirty minutes or so before I go to sleep, and yeah. I feel like I drift off into nice, you know, easy sleep. I sleep throughout the night and then I get up, you know, wake up and I feel really good. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And, and I, I also use a couple mag at night and then sometimes, I, at times I even try using two of these. Okay. Sometimes yeah. I get really kind of overworked and get a little, uh, I find it, it's helpful to do two, but one's a great start. But it's not like a sleeping pill, like, you know, no. if you take like an over-the-counter thing like sleeping pills, something right. that you build up in your system to help with the quality of sleep. Well, you actually, from tryptophan, and this is a very purified tryptophan, you produce melatonin. And melatonin, of course, is one of, is, is the, is the hormone that tells the body to go to rest. And so in the daytime, we want to, we, we want the melatonin is low, but in the evening, the melatonin increases. That's why we shut off our lights and stuff at night. We don't want, and we get up in the morning, feel great, go out and see some sunlight, tell that melatonin to shut down. Then we take the tryptophan at night, wakes up that melatonin. I feel really like clear in mind, like really at focused. I think it helps with my cognitive focus in the morning. Hey, and talk about focus. How many of us have a concern with focus? And so what we've also developed is this very particular form of B12, the really state-of-the-art form of B12 in a tasty lozenger that helps to increase focus. Now, Gina can talk to you about the focus, but I want to tell you that this nutrient we use from a biochemical terms because it helps the body detoxify. It's not only an essential nutrient that's very important for vegan and vegetarians who get deficient in B12, but also it's a nutrient that helps to actually keep homocysteine in line to encourage proper methylation, which is how the body sends information around. Really important biochemically, but people notice that they feel better. That's why we call it rise well. You get up in the morning, you take some of this, you maybe take some midday, feel a boost of energy. What do you use? How do you use it? Well, when I travel, I always take my vitamin, my uh, rise well with me. I have it in my purse. And so, you know, around three o'clock, sometimes you get that af late afternoon slump. Right. And so instead of going to a cup of coffee or some kind of sugary treat, and this is, it tastes good. It's a little yeah, lozenge it? that you dissolve under your tongue. Right. And so I'll take that. And again, you don't get the jitters. Yeah. You don't, you know, it's not like you're going to lose sleep or can't fall asleep because you took the B12. And I feel good on it. I feel like, okay, now I can, you know, go about the rest of my day, get my test done after a busy day of work. Then I can come home and, you know, do what I've Whatever, you know, clean the house what, or whatever cook dinner, you have to do. whatever I have to do. There's something yeah. left after work. And, exactly. And, and in our office, many people use this as that afternoon pickup. I personally focus on it because it really helps the body detoxify. Many good reasons to use the Rise Well, and certainly nothing more important than a good night's sleep. Absolutely. Good stuff. Now, let's talk about the really heavy hitters you've heard about the vitamins the particular nutrients we love individually but the heavy hitters for the program are also really these combination formulas the multivitamin called the energized multi has almost about 40 nutrients in it essential for all the body functions all the essential nutrients you need and then the alkalizing mineral which again has about 20 nutrients all minerals all aimed at alkalizing we separate the minerals from the multiple formula because certain things, certain minerals like copper and iodine can actually damage the antioxidants. So we put the copper and iodine in here and we have this to be the multivitamin complete. So they're both very essential. I use two of the Energized Multi a day and generally four of the alkalizing minerals. Great formulas, both very comprehensive. Gina, do you use the formulas? If 
I take anything else, I always make sure that because I find that this is my foundation. If I don't have time in my day for anything else, right. I make sure I take the multi because it is energizing and I find right. it, you know, it has so many great nutrients in it. So right. it's got the whole spectrum. Yeah. Without a doubt, make sure I get my multi. And then the mineral, because it has all of those you know, 19 key nutrients in it, and it does help to alkalize. So if, you know, anything, make sure that I definitely get those two in in my day. Yeah, because not only, we always think about bone, we get the minerals, but really for the wellness of the whole body, for the muscles, for the energy production, for all the body, it's very good to get a complete multi-formula and the complete mineral formula. We do it. It has served many people well. We hope you enjoy it. We want to thank you for tuning in. We hope you found the information useful. It's been so nice to talk about some of our favorite things, share with you our great stories, and hopefully you'll find great benefits from using these products as yeah, well. Yeah, and don't forget to send us some of your stories because it's pretty impressive. Each individual responds in their own unique way, and you can each see the benefit of these. Be well, and we'll talk to you soon.